Hello everyone, welcome to IOS Essential and this is Arun Gupta. In this to today in this tutorial we will be learning about how to output your logs onto Xamarin Studio console. So let's start by opening our Xamarin Studio, a new solution. Select iOS application, single view application, hit next, give an app name uh, trace logs. Trace logs. Don't use dot iOS in the app name and in project name give iOS and then create once the project is created right click on the packages folder add package we'll be using mvm cross here for our application so add the mvm cross starter pack and add the add this package once the mvvm cross starter pack has been added i will modify our project and will create uh, you know default uh, default view and a few guidelines on structuring our application so there will be app delegate.cs.txt file which we have to copy and replace with our existing app.delegate.cs file okay so we'll just copy and paste it from the txt file then there is a to do mvvm cross folder where it says that what all tasks you have to do so it says that add a reference to your crawl project and then replace the app delegate.cs file and then we have views folder we have where we have the first view.cs file which references the first view model from your core project so let's add a core project into our application so uh, you know add a new project and from library select portable library and give this name as stress logs dot core and the create the core project and in the same way the way we did for iOS add a new package and add MVVM cross starter pack to this project once we add the starter MVVM cross package the MVM cross will also modify our core project as well where it will create the view model uh, classes as well so it will have the first view model class uh, let's delete the default a few default files like my class.cs then to do folder and app delegate.cs.txt file Now let's build the application. When we build the application, we, we got two errors. You know, I don't know why. This two errors came. Let's see, I think it's not able to reference the first view model uh, into the iOS project. Okay, maybe a problem with the name spacing or something. Let's just check that out. Okay, let's see the namespace in first view model that's look pretty okay good uh, not a problem uh, i i think we, we missed to add the reference of the core project into our ios project and that could be a problem so let's you know add a reference of our core project into our ios so could click right click on references edit reference project and add the core project into our application Let's rebuild the application again. And then I think it should build successfully. Yeah, Tara built successfully. Let's run the sample application in, onto an IO simulator. So hit the run button, it will play the application onto the IO simulator. Uh, it's a pretty simple application with, where we have a label and a text field. And whatever we type in the text field would be reflected into our label as well use this is happening using the bindings which which mvvm cross creates between the first view and the first view model okay and here uh, the application output way is the place where we see all the out messages which is output by the application on the console okay so let's 
let's see how to display messages on the console or display debugging messages on the console okay so let's hit go to first view model and this set property that is where you know whenever you type on the text field uh, it keeps up so it, it keeps on updating so here what we'll do is we'll use the property called the method of mvvm cross that is mvx dot trace and the message which we need to print so here what we'll do is mvm cross dot trace and then we'll try to print whatever user is typing on the text field okay so we will try to print the value and we'll give a uh, default message also into it like what user is like typing and the what whatever is typed in the text field okay so once this is done uh, mvvm mvx is not by default recognized so just quick fix it and it will add the mvm cross dot platform now hit and run the application okay and uh, let's simulator come up and as we start writing on on the text field we should be able to see the messages on the out, output window as well okay so let's write mvm cross world and you can see like as we write w o r l d each of the item is outputted on the console application output okay let's try to stick application output on the screen itself which is you know when and na navigate to another screen it goes off okay i think this is the way all uh, right let's mm -hmm. close all other windows okay right so now the application output is will be on the screen itself right so now let's say if i write anything else like hello welcome web cross world it will display it on the screen okay great okay so this is how we display the messages on the console okay now let's see this is what we did in the core project now let's do the same thing on the ios class ios project as well so go to the first view.cs file just below the set apply paste the same code and instead of value what we'll try to print is the what is the value in the label so label.txt okay so we'll print what is in the label text hit and run the application and on the application output as soon as the application runs we already have something in the label so you you can see like when the application runs it directly prints whatever was there in the label.txt so it prints hello mvvm cross okay and as soon as and as and when we start typing in the text field that will be outputted on the console as well on the output application output console as well okay. 